Hello guys, welcome to this channel. My name is David Odili here and today we're going to be creating a Valentine social media flyer that you can use on your social media. So today we're going to be making use of Photoshop and Illustrator together. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Make sure you like, you share and you subscribe. So let's go straight into the design of today. What to do, it was created in Photoshop and this is Photoshop, right? And we use Illustrator together with it. So I'm going to be showing you how I did everything together. So first of all, you create, we created a new, a new canvas by pressing Ctrl N on the keyboard, Ctrl N. We go to new, then you click on um, 1080 by, 1080 by 1350, 1080 width, 1350 height. So my is portrait, resolution 300 and click on create. So, you control zero here to see the full documents and the, to download this, we have, you can go to the, the documents, the link in the description below to download this, I will go to the link in the description below. So, first of all, so first of all, what we do here, we're not going to create. We're going to create the gradient. We'll click on this adjustment here. Click on adjustment. Click on gradient here. Then we'll click on this first part here. We'll click on color. We add our first gradient. The color code on the screen: C eight zero zero two D. Then we'll click OK. Then we'll make sure that the location is is 44. Control Z. Make sure the location is 44. 44. Then we'll click on this one. We we'll click on we we'll add gradient here. We we'll add the text. Our color code F F F99 CC6. Alright, click on OK here. Then we'll make sure that this one is set to 100 percent here so we can see it all right then we'll click on ok we are going to um, make sure that this is at this point this angle one 136 point six seven one thirty six point six seven so the next we're going to um Click on this, click on convert to smart objects. Then I'm going to click on filter, click on add no noise, click on add noise here. Yeah. We'll make sure our noise is at 10. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our layer, we're going to click on this layer here. This layer, I'm going to open it up. As you can see, it's an image like this. It's in a zip file and it's an image like this. So what you're going to do, this is downloaded from FreePick. I want to take this on underlying layer by we'll click double click on this EPS layer which will open it up in Illustrator. So we'll just wait for it to open in Illustrator. So right now we have opened it in Illustrator and we're going to um, shut our images here. We we'll go to our layers here, we'll click open this, we'll click open this layer. Then I'm going to look for this layer here, this particular low cut layer. Then I think it's all these ones here. Select all these ones like this. All these ones like this. You select all these ones like this. I think it's basically all these layers here. I think we have to select all these layers here. No, minus this one. Select all these ones here. Yeah, we are not selecting this layer here and we are not selecting this layer here so we are only needing this layer here so we are just going to we are just going to take this we are just going to take this like this first of all we are going to, we are going to remove these blacks here oh, we are going to leave them we are going to remove these blacks here the one that is shining black And 
between these two then we are going to drag and drop this I'm going to drag this and drop it in Photoshop go back drag and drop this drop it in Photoshop drop it in Photoshop so it loads up it loads up here I'm going to change the blending mode to linear dodge linear dodge add linear dodge add then I'll change the opacity to 51% to 51% here so what we're going to do now we're going to control Z, control zero click on this control T I want to scale it to hold alt on the keyboard I want to scale it up hold alt all right and let's just move this one to back to 50% here all right um this is also this one so we, this is the next thing we have here now what we are going to do next on this we are going to create we are going to use another of our distinct form and um, this here we are using this one here i want to be using it this is a this is a rose the roses that i added to it is the roses that I added to it here so i want to take um i will take this rose down here and add it to our design or this one or this one anyone so we are just going to open it in illustrator so click on it open it then we'll click on close it says from fronts are missing we'll click on close the fronts from here are missing Click on close or oh, control zero to see the full document. Then we'll open the layers on hide hide. What we need is here. We can unhide this. We can unhide this. I decide to unhide or hide this. Then what we need, we are going to take this one particularly. Take this one and drag it here. And we'll place it here. So it loads up here and we're just going to leave it here i'm just going to leave this one here then what we're going to do i'm going to bring it our image our character image here we'll bring it in photoshop photoshop take some time to load then we can select and select subjects it takes some time to select the subjects. So when you are selected, so you click on this mask here, it takes off the parts that you selected. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click sell on be on this mask here. Be on this, make sure you this layer mark is selected. Then you go to filter, go to go to um, order, you go to minimum. So this removes the edges, see with the white edges. You'll be saying make sure the radius is at one zero, make sure preserve it at um, roundness. Click on OK. Great. Automatically removes that. And you can convert it to smart objects to make sure that the orientation and the photo quality doesn't change. Then you duplicate this, duplicate layer, and you send it to the untitled one. Alright. So you have this now. This is layer one. Can control T, press control T. Control T. So control T, you can scale it down to the size you want. Control T here. Click on zero. Control zero. Now we have this is what we have here. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to cancel this one. Now so this one, I'm going to bring in our Valentine, our Valentine text here. From this one, we're going to bring in our Valentine text. We unhide, we un open this layer, and we unhide this, unhide this. Okay, we're going to actually bring this, open this layer. We're going to unhide this, going to unhide this layer, and this happy here. We're going to let me unlock the background layer so we can see what we're doing. So. I remove this layer here 
because I don't want their shadows, I don't want their, I don't want this text, this ray that they added. So I'll just take this, this calligraphy that they did here. So I'll click on the layer and I will drag it in to my Photoshop here. And now we just leave it like this. I can decide to scale it up a bit. And now oh, it's too big. I'll just move it down, move it down, move it down, up. All right, I'll click here. Then I will move these pictures a bit away. All right, this, I want to turn off this now for now. Move this, I want to lock this layer so that I don't interfere with it. So I can move this layer, this layer, particular layer, move it up above this one. Then I'll change the name of this layer to Valentine. And time. I'll change this name to overlay. I'll change. I won't open this layer. I'll name it flower. Flower. I'll change the name of this layer. I'll change it to lovers. All right. So what next I'm going to do? I'm going to add gradient map to this. Gradient map to this. I'm going to click on. Adjustment, make sure my adjustment is here. Or I'll go to window and adjustments. Anywhere you have adjustments, I'll make sure my adjustment is open. Make sure my adjustment is different, it's open. So, window, make sure my adjustment, I have my adjustment tab open. So, I'll click on gradient map and to add to my layer marks, I will click on create clipping mask. I'll go here and I'll click on this gradient map. I'll go to my shadows. This is the end one, it represents my shadows. And I'll add the color code C9012D. I'll click on OK. I'll go to my highlights. I will add the color F8B2BF. All right. So what I will do is this. I will adjust the location of this to about 25. I will drag it here to about 25. I will click on OK. Then I will change the blending mode to overlay. To overlay. Yeah. And I will change the opacity to 42%. 42%. Alright. So we have this here. So what next I'm going to do. I'm going to add a layer of shadow. I want to add shadow under this. So I'll pick, I'll go to this panel here, I'll pick my dark, my, this dark part here, I'll make it darker. And I will make it darker like this. I'll make it darker like this. I'll go down below it and create a new layer, just below this layer. I'll name it Shadow. Shadow. And I'll go to click on my brush tool. By clicking B, make sure my brush is set. At my soft round to my size is about let me say my size is about 400 or 250 this is 250 which my size is 250 now just click by the size of it sorry I will make sure it's on this color here this color here make sure this color is set I'll add it here just tap by the sides create like a shadow impression of the character of the character, I'll drop it here. Please, 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 please. All right. My flow is set at nine percent. That's why it's not making like that. So I'll increase my flow a bit to sixteen percent. So I can just add on that shadow here. So my flow is that. So I will duplicate this. I will merge these two again. Make these layers and I'll name it. I'll remove the copy there, just leave me the shadows. Then I will reduce the opacity to about, to about 55%. 55%. Right? I'll still reduce the opacity to 45%. Alright. So the next thing I'll do here is that I will I'll go to my images. And drag in this my love close up here and drag it here inside here so what I'm going to do here is quite difficult yeah 
we are going to select so we're going to select our we're going to unlock this layer go to our pen tool we are going to we want to remove this hand here go to our pen tool here we're going to remove this hand here mm -hmm. you know, first of all we're going to cut out this this loaf want to click on this so select it round select it round so i will speed up this process so i'll click on i've selected this round so i'll click on selection okay then i'll ctrl shift i and I'll click backspace or I'll click ctrl j duplicate this so before before i do that i'll go back i will just make sure my selection is smooth when i make my selection when I click my selection, I'll make sure click OK. I'll click Ctrl I, Ctrl Shift I to make sure it's only this one is selected. Now make sure my select is we'll go to select, modify, and smooth. Then I'll leave it at five. Make sure it's smooth. Alright, so I can now duplicate this layer here and hide this layer here. So if you notice that this this is these hands are still on it, what I'll do, I'll go to I'll use my pen tool again and select this 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 and select this now click on make selection selection i'll click on ctrl shift i to shift i then i'll go to edit a field then i'll go to click on content aware content aware let's see how good it will be um all right so there's a mistake here i will make sure i don't select the hand make sure this i don't select outside this make sure the shape is good um, let's zoom in so that we get a better angle of this all right so i did something i didn't do it right here to so repeat to select my pen to click here click here click here Click here, 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 and click and click. Then click hit selection. Control zero to see. Control shift I. Then we will go to edits, view, content aware. Then fuse it up with content aware. All right, so we can do press control D. All right, I want to do something here. I want to like make selection. I want to see control shift I. I want to click on select. I want to click on modify. I want to click on expand. Expand by one pixel. I'll click on select. I'll click on expand again. Modify expand again by one pixel. Then I can now click on shift F5. Shift F5. Shift F5. I'll click on that is my field that I'm going to edit for. Click on content away. Make sure the mode is normal opacity 100. All right. So it's when I have this, so it's okay like this. I'm going to the second side and do the same thing. Do justice to that. I'll go here, go to my pen to click on this, click on this, click on this. Make sure it's well selected. Click on this, 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 click, 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 then make selection, it is okay, then I will control shift I to remove the marks from around it, remove the, this marquee. This marquee you can see here. Make selection. Make sure I go back to my pen tool. Make selection. So my control shift I to move the selection this marquee from here. So I to select only here. Click on shift I. Then I will click on select. I will click on modify, expand by two pixels. Then I will click on shift F4, shift F5. Then to fill it with my content aware. All right, so I have this. 
and it's looking good so i'll convert this one to smart objects here convert it to smart objects then i'll duplicate it and i'll send it to my untitled one here so here i have this so i can close this nope i will ctrl t press ctrl t here then i can scale this down i can scale this one hold alt on my keyboard scale this down I'm good it's still big just to scale this down to about this level and i can drag it into my I can make sure i drag this one into my design Press Ctrl T, so I don't obstruct us. I'll listen to my design, alright. So I'll press Ctrl 0 to zoom into this. I'll press Ctrl T. I'll also drag this down here. And what I want to do, I'm going to click on Ctrl U. I'll name this one Love. 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 I'll select this shadow, Lovers and Gradient Map 1. I'll group it. I'll group it. I'll name it People. Lovers. I'll name it Lovers. Capital letter. Lovers. So this love here, I will click on Ctrl U to add hue saturation under it. Then I will change the hue to minus 32. Minus 32. I will change the saturation to 4 to 9. 9. Now leave the brightness as that. Then I will click go to this. I go to filter. I go to um, I go to blow, I go to motion blow, motion blow, and uh, make sure the motion blow is the distance is set at 40 pixels. So this is what I have here. Let me hide this flower layer first. I'll come back to the flower layer later. So this I can randomly duplicate this layer now. Just duplicate it all over my design and make some of them big, some of them small. So I'll duplicate this one, make it smaller. Make sure that your save aspect ratio is checked on. Maintain aspect ratio is checked on. Make this one smaller. I'll just duplicate it around my design. I'm holding my Alt key to drag to duplicate. Hold my Alt key. Duplicate. I'll just drag this one down. Make this one smaller. I'll make this one smaller. Make this one smaller. Make it bigger bits. Make another one here. Hold my Alt key to duplicate. Remember, hold my Alt key to duplicate. So I will see drag this one here. I will do that. I don't want it to drop the name here. I will just drop this one here. I will move it here, kind of here. I'll move on here. I'll make it smaller here. All right. I will drag this one here. Then I will move this. So what I want us to do? I want us to add like a guide. A guide like. Make sure it's 70 each, like margins to it. New, so when you're adding guide, you go to new guide layout. You can either add columns or your margins. So I want to add margins so that I'll make sure my, my everything on my works is aligned. So I'll add margins, make sure all of them are 70. Margins are 70 pixels. This is my margin. So make sure this is working well with the margin. I want to move this. Up a bit, up, up a bit. So I'll leave it like this. All right. So I have this, and I'll go to my lovers layer. I'll go to my shadows, and I'll still reduce this down a bit to 32. Let me make it 35. All right. All right. So we are almost done with design. I want to, I want to click on all these love layers. Go down to get down. Click on, and I want to group these layers. Go from layers. I'm going to name it the group love in capital letter click on ok all right so what we're going to do next i'm going to drag in our lens flare our lens flare from here we will drag it into photoshop place it here then we will change the blending mode to screen screen take it here we'll ctrl t here i want to i'm going to drag it out I want to drag it out. I want to still drag it out. Drag it out here. All right. 
Okay, and put it here, leave it here. I'm going to change this then mode to 90. I'll click on OK. I want to duplicate this layer, Ctrl J. Or I'm going to drag this down here. Drag this down here. Drag this down here. We have this here. Make sure it's down there. And this is the opacity of this to 70. So this will shine over this guy's face. So what next we're gonna do here? We are going to add our flower layers here. So our flower layers here, we're going to Let's lock this layer so they will, they don't be interrupted. Our flower layers are going to scale them. I'm going to scale them. Ctrl T on our keyboard. I'm going to drag it out. Not one the long layer. Go to this flower layer here. Ctrl T. We drag them out. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to rotate it. I just want some part of the flowers to be on the design. I think I'm okay with this here. All right. I'll click on here. And I'll duplicate this layer. First of all, I want to make it, I want to blend it into my design and make sure that it doesn't have been, been contrasted. That. I'll click on Ctrl Shield to open my U and saturation. I'll add U to this. I'll add minus 32. I'll add saturation I'll and minus 33 and I'll go with that so I'm going to click on Ctrl G to duplicate this and I'm going to carry it all the way here all the way here all the way here I'm going to Ctrl T and I'm going to flip it vertically I'll flip it and I'll flip it horizontally and flip it vertically by adding minus sign here uh, I will just rotate it around rotate it around rotate it around alright so I can just get the edge of the trees here click on good here I'll click on control zero and I will take this back here is what I just need here. All right, so this is almost the design done. Almost all the design done. So I will reduce the size of this one. So let's look at how we are fearing with this design. So we can see that we are doing good. We are doing good. So it's almost like that one. Let's lock this layer. Move this one to the side. Move this one here. Move this one here. All right. So we can lock this layer now. We can lock these two layers here. We can lock these two layers here. So this text where we use the we use the text. Um, I think the objective objective light and objective bold so you can we're just going to copy duplicate this one of our design to save more stretch it's just text very simple so text here what was the text here then the remaining one we're going to duplicate this text here this february 14th we want to duplicate it we use the color code we use the character objective Latica italic is in the resources here so you can just download that so and just type it out using the text too it's as simple as that it doesn't need further explanation we'll just duplicate it duplicate this with the new design all right make sure it's placed on top we'll drag it up here okay so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to, we are going to uh, create that circular date pattern, circular date pattern of 2023. 
we will go to circle here go to right click on this one ellipse tool make sure this is on parts and we draw out a part here above this one we hold shift hold control hold shift make sure the part is circular all right and we can go to our pen tool here our text tool here and we can just click on it on this part it automatically adds text to the parts you can see i want to change this thing to 2023 i want to change the font size to lights and to change the size to 1.8 1.8 I'm going to change the color to blue to white, 100% white. So we're going to zoom in on this. We'll zoom in on this using our zoom tool. I'm also going to type this repeatedly around 2023, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2023, all right we have this so we can scale it up we can scale this one down move this ones to the center of this of this move this one to the center of this all right so i'm going to duplicate this one twice ctrl j ctrl j ctrl j i want to select down to february 14 here hold shift and control and click on this to select the layers i'm going to click on ctrl g i want to name this layer dates Okay, control zero to see the full design. So we have created the we could create this design. Let's see whether we can reduce the size of this of this to select all this here with alt on our keyboard. I'm going to oh god Z this is behaving zero and to hold alt and to drag this one down. So we have this. We have reduced the space between all of them. All right. So we group this and we lock it. So we have succeeded in creating this design, and it's a very simple design for you to do. Very simple design I did using Photoshop. Uh, lock this layer using Photoshop. So it's very simple design. Very very simple design. So I can move this. Uh, make sure this one is locked so that I go move it. I want up this one. I want up this one so I can move these layers. All right, so we have the design here that I did in Photoshop. Let's move our guides, clear guides, our guides here. So this is the design we did in Photoshop. So happy Valentine's Day wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.